You take a three-dimensional model and you slice it up into a bunch of little layers and then the printer deposits material down in each of those layers and over time you build up that shape. My name is Andrew Brace. I'm a model maker here at Quirky. I'm here to introduce you to our 3D printers. We've got Bertha, Marge, Print Eastwood, and Danny DeVito. 3D printing is an invaluable tool for design. I work closely with the designers and engineers, taking their ideas and turning them into physical objects, see what works, see what doesn't work, trying out new designs very quickly. In the past, we relied much more on our vendors to do our prototyping. So we would send them our information and they would send prototypes back. We used to take weeks, we can do in hours with our 3D printers here in the shop. Different projects call for different technologies. Sheath, for example, has hard components, it has soft components, and it's an assembly that actually functions. One of the technologies is FDM, which stands for Fused Deposition Modeling. You start off with a filament of plastic and heat it up and draw it out, almost like a hot glue gun. And that's how you build up your layers. What's really cool about that is we can use real plastics like polycarbonate and ABS, which our final products are made out of, and it allows us to build prototypes that actually you know, we can bend and break and very good for mechanical testing. The answer to FDM's low resolution issue is PolyJet technology. PolyJet works a lot like an inkjet printer, but instead of ink, we're using liquid resins and UV light to cure and harden the resins. What's really cool about this is it's much higher resolution and we can print multiple materials, which is great for sheath because we have hard plastics and rubber grips and we can actually print that all at once and test it out and verify and see how comfortable it is. And the resolution is actually high enough that we can cut paper with the printed blades. We know you don't necessarily have access to this kind of technology at home, but there are resources available. Over the years, 3D printing has become cheaper. There are services out there that will actually print things for you. And it's really important that you take your idea and turn it into something physical. You can sketch it all day, you can model it a million times, but you don't really know what it will be like until you turn it into something real.